Wow, what a round, 11 under par, 60. Course record uh, by three or four shots, from my understanding. Um, you know, what did you, what was your game feeling like coming into today? Did you have any idea that a round like this was possible for you? Well, no, but I just wanted to go out there, play a solid round of golf, maybe put post a number, a couple under, a few under. But I made the turn at five under, and then I was just looking to keep it together in the back nine, and I started out with three birdies in a row on the front side, so I was like, okay, you can go really low with this, and then it just it just kept going. I Probably the most putts I've ever made. I didn't, putts I never even think about making, they just were all dropping. Wow, and where some of those longer putts, uh, what holes were those? What what were the kind of the key, the key holes, do you think, in the round today that allowed you to go so low? Well, I had bogeyed, I had birdied five and six, which are holes you'd, I'd never think about birdying because they're pretty tough. And then I get to seven and it's a hard par three, hit it to like 30 feet and it goes in. I was, I didn't even know what to say at that point. I was just like, I, Definitely. I was kind of lost for words. Yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, I'm sure you've had some, some good rounds before, but anything no. um, like this ever? No, before? no. What do you think allowed this like round to happen? Like, what do you think uh, the biggest factor just was? All the, all the putts went in. <laughs> Putting is the main part of the game and they just, they all fell today. I mean, people always say you'll have days like that. And I guess today was one of those. You're getting down final few holes. What are you kind of? What's kind of going through your head as you like? Were you thinking about uh, the 59 at all? Yeah, yeah, I was trying not to, cause, but it was in the back of my head, and yeah. Just, I know today's been amazing, and congratulations, you deserve to revel in this moment. But there is still 18 holes yes, left in the tournament, yes. so how are you going to be able to come into tomorrow, put today behind you, and just focus on the last 18 holes, being that you will have a four-shot lead most likely? Just have the same goal in mind, like not go out there and try to shoot really low again, because going into today, like I said, I wanted to shoot just a couple under, maybe three or four. Just have the same goal going in tomorrow and stay calm, and that's the way I'm going to approach it.